Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of the review for the 4B X215 Pro. Uh, this should be an interesting uh, racing quadcopter uh, that is decently priced and uh, should have uh, good performance uh, for what you pay for it. So it comes with three set of uh, propellers, spare propellers and this is the quadcopter. Let's see, so this is the co-procession uh, mount, uh, it has a metallic velcro buckle, so this won't break on the first impact. It comes with a pagoda antenna, these things are getting more and more popular, and this is the quadcopter, uh, it has a very nice build quality, it has very thick arms. It uses, uh, if I remember correctly, 4 mm thickness for the arms and uh, 6 mm or 5 mm for the aluminum parts. It's a combination of metal and carbon fiber and the arms are exchangeable. There is uh, not uh, from one single part. It uses two uh, thinner carbon uh, fiber plates that hold them together. Um, my opinion is that this plate is a bit too thin and it would have been better to have a thicker plate uh, to give it more uh, rigidity. Uh, beside that it looks uh, rather nice. Uh, it has a CCD camera, this is not a C uh, mouse camera. Uh, it has uh, 1200 TV lines. It has of course OSD so you can set up uh, various parameters for the camera itself it comes with a small FR Sky uh, receiver and if I'm right uh, this uh, should provide very good range it can go up to one and a half kilometers with no problems but it does not have S bus and it does not provide any kind of telemetry so you will not even have a signal strength indicated on your uh, transmitter so that won't be very nice, but I'm going to try to bind it and uh, see if uh, it's that model or not. So the camera of course has adjustable tilt, it can go to pretty, some pretty aggressive uh, angles as you can see. And this one also uses a 4-in-1 uh, ESC combo and of course a F3 uh, based uh, uh, flight controller. Uh, it should also have OSD, uh, but we are going to test that to see if it works or not. Uh, ZSEs are BL uh, Heli compatible, uh, 30 amps, and uh, it should support uh, also this shot. What is very interesting about this model is that it supports anything from 3 cell lipos up to 6 cell lipos, and uh, it should run all of that. I don't know if the motors can go up to 6S LiPos but all the electronics on it it's uh, 6S compatible. So let's go ahead and try to bind it but first I need to install the antenna because if I will connect the battery to the quadcopter uh, I will burn the video transmitter if I power it without an antenna so I need to install that first and I will prepare an FPV monitor to see if we get OSD and things like that and the test LiPo uh, to bind it you have a very small switch here uh, it's this golden one let me show you you can see this one here next to the antenna plugs this is a small push button maybe you can hear it click or maybe not um, I'm in the uh, the 16 uh, modes, uh, 16 channels, so I'm going to select bind and now uh, I'm going to try to power it on while holding this switch pressed, so the switch is pressed and I'm going to let go of the switch and secure the battery better. So it has a buzzer and LEDs here. Uh, the receiver is flashing red and has a steady green. 
I'm going to end the bind here, exit the menu and I think that I need to restart the transmitter I'm just going to shut it off and after the restart I'm going to show you a small detail you have a very small green LED here on the receiver now it's steady green which means that now we have a successful bind and the uh, rear LEDs have changed flashing the two ones here are flashing very rapidly and these ones are still uh, doing a slow glow kind of thing right so now I'm going to try to see if we get some telemetry or not so I'm going to go into the menu and in telemetry I'm going to select discover new sensors but I highly doubt that uh, we are going to see something here because I'm uh, almost sure that this is a XM plus receiver but I'm going to let it there and I'm going to show you the FPV and uh, as you can see it's been pre-programmed it has OSD here so it's disarmed battery not full we get the artificial horizon already displayed uh, but there's no image because of course there is the landscape there so I'm going to remove it and that's actually one of the best FPV images I have seen in a long time in uh, quadcopters it's incredible uh, sharp uh, it has very good colors uh, it simply looks very very good uh, of course I'm going to add some um, footage from the camera when I'm going to test flight this but I'm really impressed uh, because on this uh, small monitor which I use for a lot of tests I have formed my eye and I can tell you that by seeing the image here if the camera performs well or not there are some cameras that have noise that have lines that have interferences that are not very sharp that have deformed colors well this one uh, it's simply one of the best I have seen until now and there is no static there is no absolutely nothing wrong with it it looks like almost a digital transmission not an analog FPV so I'm impressed by this camera I can't wait to uh, test it in uh, real conditions such as flight and you can see very uh, it has a very big lens here and it's a 2.5 millimeter one to over 2.5 inch 5 megapixel infrared lens so that probably helps a lot and it seems to have a pretty wide FOV which should uh, make it really nice for uh, flight and let's see if I can access the OSD yes here's the OSD of the camera so I have put the landscape back to have some contrast there and but this kind of goes over the um, OSD of the quadcopter so it has day night video settings language reset save um, can set it out or, or yes so you can uh, change the way it acts uh, if you do not want to have black and white or thing like that let's see if does it have wide dynamic range or something like that so it has contrast sharpness color gain digital noise reduction and of course it has wide dynamic range uh, that is a big plus the only thing that it's a bit hard is to actually um, use this button here because it's a very small joystick and it's on the rear of the camera next to the metal frame here so it's not very easy to use and it doesn't use uh, straight directions but it's actually uh, some kind of uh, diagonal control so it has sides in that direction 
and up and down is on that direction it's a bit hard to get accustomed but that's not really an issue only just showing you uh, all the details of uh, this quadcopter so I'm going to disconnect it now from the battery because it's flashing too much in your eyes so um, this is the 40B uh, X215 uh, 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 Pro uh, very nicely built very solid I like the combination of metal and thick arms so this should take some abuse it has this metal cross member here and this one here uh, which should give it better integrity the antenna is uh, has a separate support from carbon fiber it's screwed onto the metal frame it has a pigtail extension so in case of something goes really wrong and you break this carbon fiber here uh, you will not break the video transmitter because the cable there will probably snap off or bend and it will save uh, your transmitter last but uh, not least my only cons until now about the build quality is the fact that uh, beside this uh, thin plate here it doesn't have any kind of flat protection for uh, the battery so if you are going to strap the battery underneath here all these screws will push onto the lipo potentially damaging it so you should be careful with that you should add something soft here and when you are going to land or crash these screws will not uh, poke your battery into oblivion so you should take care of that also the space here for running a strap is very limited and these wires are kind of unprotected here you can break this and you are going to break the uh, flight controller board which has the integrated power sensor here so you should be kind of careful with that or add something here to further protect the wires because if something uh, will hit here like a rock or uh, tree branch you can potentially break the board uh, but those are not big cons uh, you will probably find this kind of small cons on most of uh, the cheaper quadcopters but i'm just outlining them so you know all the details the good ones and the bad ones about this uh, quadcopter so of course after this uh, probably boring part uh, you are going to see hopefully soon the second part we did uh, flying which should be more interesting than this one until then bye bye